What is up, people of the internet? I'm your host, Party Street 2012 here, and welcome back to another episode of PT Weekly. So, I'm thinking that I'll have kind of a rough schedule of when I upload PT Weekly. So, probably it'll be every weekend. I can't guarantee which day because sometimes things happen on one day and sometimes things happen on the other day. On like Saturday and Sunday, so just bear with me if I can. If I end up like being able to easily make a um a set schedule and be able to follow that, like really like commit to it, then I'll do that. But but for the time being, it'll just be this, I guess, every week and it doesn't matter when. Anyway, the gameplay you're watching in the background is Arma Two. Me just playing around with the editor. There's a death map. I put on a death match against some AI, and it gets really intense. I mean, like because <clears throat> a lot of people I shoot at, you may not be able to see in the video, because they're literally like camoed in. Like they're, you, it's hard to see them. But anyway, on to the video. On to the topics of discussion, I guess. So first, apparently, you know that you know that name. Let's play. Part of the uh, channel, I mean, part of the content that I upload. Um. Well, apparently, Sony decided to try and trademark that name, or try to trademark the term "Let's Play," which personally I think is a stupid idea because if they're gonna trademark it, think it just doesn't seem like it's gonna work because Let's Play is basically a huge genre of video. It isn't like something that not many people have done or have made a Let's Play. All people have. The ten, um, people who made Candy Crush, I forget what their name is, tried to um, trademark the term like anything with candy and saga in it. Which, again, didn't really work. At least I don't think it did. If so, it's stupid. Also, apparently, though, y you may have not heard of this. Because, well, if you haven't, you're not missing out on anything at all. But apparently, recently there was a rumor spreading around that Microsoft was going to shut down the Xbox Live service in 2016 or something, or coming up soon. Well, the reason people are saying this is because way back when the Xbox One launched, people, or it was stated that the Xbox 360 would have support for at least another three years. That was around 2012, 2013, yeah, 2013, I want to say. One of those two years. It is now 2016. That's kind of that sweet spot of at least three years. So, it's a rumor, and it's completely false that they're doing it this year. But who knows? Xbox, Microsoft may take down the 360 service within the next year, or maybe even the next two years. Who knows? Personally, it wouldn't affect me very much. I know I have a lot of, I have some friends who still play on the 360 and haven't moved over to like uh, PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation, Xbox One, and P or and or the PC. So yeah, that's the thing that happened in the this past week of I guess gaming news, but something that's like actually like gaming gaming news is so remember way back when I can't even remember when it was Ubisoft or Ubisoft or whatever announced a new game that seems kind of like Defiance a little bit but in more of a realistic modern day setting called The Division. And I really haven't been paying too much attention to this game because I don't know. I've guess I guess I've been preoccupied with like other things and other games like uh, the Assassin's Creed and stuff. But who knows? I may end up liking the division. The reason I'm bringing this up as of now is for any of you guys who have an Xbox One, a PS4, or a PC, you can play apparently the Division beta for the PS. I mean, for the Xbox One owners out there, it starts in January 
January the 28th. For everyone else, the PS4 and the PC get it on the 20, a day later on the 29th. If, I'm not entirely sure if there are any prerequisites to this though, because the, I mean, I remember them, I remember hearing about prerequisites, like you have to pre-order or whatever, but, I mean, I don't know. That may be a thing, that may not be a thing. I, <laughs> I kind of found this kind of, I kind of found like this story at like the last, like, second before filming. So, that's indeed a thing. And the beta for it, the division, will end on January the 31st. So, I guess it gives you, what, four, five days? No, wait, no, not four. Three or four days to play, depending on who you are. I don't know, it, I don't find it, uh, I kind of find it unfair that the PC and the PS4 kind of get the butt end of the deal with not being able to play for the full beta period, but it is what it is, I mean, it might have done what, uh, P uh Sony and, and Ubisoft have done before, which is make special content deals and stuff for that specific console, <clears throat> but I don't think that's the case this year, or today, or right now, I should say. Maybe I'm thinking of, uh, Activision and PlayStation, I don't know. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of PT Weekly. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stuff because new videos up every week and at the end of the month, there's kind of like a monthly, like, recap sort of thing, if you will, done by my good old friend Cricket. Um, I guess links will be in the description to both of our channels if you want to check those out. And, yeah. Thanks for watching.